Mexico's Night of the Radishes, December 23rd, annually. Created, directed, and presented by Reverend Dr. Dickie Joe Mullen. In this video, Dr. Mullen will talk about the origins and the detail of the celebration of the radishes in late December. This is astrologer Dickie Jo Mullen in Orlando, Florida, with a unique and beautiful Christmas celebration idea. Mexico's Night of the Radishes, a celebration of Yuletide south of the border. The Night of the Radishes, El Noche de Rabanos, is among the most intriguing and unusual of the many annual celebrations and folk festivals which honor the winter solstice every year. Celebrated in Oaxaca, Mexico, this event is a unique kind of art show and it attracts huge crowds. Lines miles long form of enthusiastic visitors, young and old alike. Ironically, this gathering is almost unheard of in other parts of the world. The Night of the Radishes was first celebrated on December 23, 1897. The tradition is that a local merchant hoped to attract customers to his shop in El Zocolo, the village plaza. He began to carve these beautiful white and ruby skins of the radishes. Aren't they pretty? I really think they have their own beauty. And he ended up with beautiful and festive displays. They emerged as if by magic. This talented entrepreneur's radish carvings were instantly popular overnight with shoppers who purchased them for the holiday table centerpieces. This part of Mexico has a long tradition of wood carving. So soon other farmers and vegetable peddlers joined in to try their hands at carving radishes in order to make a little bit of extra money for decorations to sell too. The festival officially became an annual part of the Yuletide holiday when Oaxaca's mayor proclaimed December 23rd forever as the Night of the Radishes. For more than a century now, Artists, professional artisans, and amateurs alike have all gathered in Oaxaca. The competitive spirit intensifies yearly. The would-be artists eagerly try hard to outdo each other, and the humble radish has become glorified. It's now a star in its own right. Over time, special gigantic varieties of radishes have been developed, and they're never meant to be eaten. These super celebrity radishes are as large and heavy as pumpkins. They can weigh five pounds or more and grow up to a yard in length. The city has dedicated special plots of land to farming radishes. Agricultural experts from all over Mexico employ and supervise their growth and then, in December, the prized radishes are distributed to 100 or more contestants just before the winter solstice. Starting on December 18th, the artists collect together and gather the radishes they need, and then they begin to carve. They have to work quickly because the vegetables deteriorate and begin to curl and up and go brown. And the nativity scenes, dancers, flowers, musical instruments, Mayan images, mission-style architecture, local wildlife, even snakes and alligators are all popular themes. The carving stops on December 23rd, and the judging then begins. A grand prize of 12,000 pesos is presented to the artist whose radish art is judged to be the best. The 21st century is finding the night of the radishes becoming bigger and brighter and better each year. In order to encourage the next generation of radish carvers, there's a special competition for young artists aged 6 to 17. And this has been inaugurated into the whole evening. And now there are fireworks, floats, and general holiday dinners, all revolving around the night of the radishes and these beautiful, interesting, ruby and white vegetables. This is astrologer and parapsychologist in Dickie Jo, Mull Dickie jo Mullen wishing you a happy holiday season and happy every day.